shooting that rattled uptown Charlotte over the Easter weekend. Now police say one of the victims was a 19-year-old man. Queen City News' is Morgan Francis is live at Romere Bearden Park tonight. Morgan, what else have you learned about this weekend shooting? Yeah, Brian, we learned today that the victim did not know the shooter. That's at least what the police report said. But we came out here today. You couldn't really tell that there was a shooting here, but we did see police officers patrolling the area. Less than 24 hours after West Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard was a crime scene. Police on dirt bikes and in cruisers patrolled from Beardon Park and the streets. A little bit concerned because I walk my dog every day. Last night, the area was blocked off with crime scene tape. Evidence markers were in the road. Police were inspecting some bicycles and medic was helping a man shot inside this car. Today, Queen City News has learned the victim is a 19-year-old man. I actually heard the shots because I was walking that way. And I came by and saw the guy he was sitting in his car. He was shot in the side, um, but it wasn't a lot of bleeding and stuff. So they told, they told us that he was going to be okay. People living in the apartments surrounding Ramir Beard and Park started taking video of the scene when they heard the commotion. We live up there on the, like the 20th floor and we heard, uh, you know, a couple like backfiring shots. It sounded like from like a car or something. But some say they didn't hear a thing. Our, my son and I were walking back from Valhalla and we were surprised we hadn't heard anything. Everything was roped off and there were police cars. Although many tell us the scene looked like the result of a fight that escalated into gunfire, the police report states the victims did not know the shooter. Well, now don't know how to fight with their hands. They use guns, but it's stupid. So we're still waiting to hear back from CMPD on answers that we sent them this morning. Two of the main questions we had is, do they even have a suspect in custody? And also, why were they inspecting bikes as part of this crime scene? Reporting live in Uptown, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News. Hopefully get an answer on that soon, Morgan. And